guys, welcome back to the Barcelona save. We crack on today trying to get ourselves back towards the top of the La Liga table. We're currently in fifth. We had a decent episode yesterday, although we didn't quite get all of the results we wanted. But thankfully, the 3-1 defeat to Sociedad that we started with was the outlier result. We have, though, as you can see, conceded a lot of goals recently. We haven't kept any clean sheets in the league or in Europe outside of the Super Cup game. So... I'm conceding a lot of goals. So far, it's been a case of outscore the opposition, which to this point, we've only failed to do on two occasions. So fingers crossed, the goals will still keep flowing in at one end and we can start to stop them going in at the other. Bilbao will be our first game today. Then we'll play Celta away as well and push through into the next month. We will sim Sparta at Moscow, sim Huesca and go and play Valencia at the Mestalla as our third and final played game of the day. We'll try and boost confidence a bit. Not that it really needs boosting that much. One thing I've noticed is that Haaland doesn't necessarily maintain his stamina that well. Something that is slightly frustrating, but thankfully it hasn't so far affected his goal scoring capabilities. Hopefully he'll be... In good form again today. Lionel Messi's actually been pretty good in that centre mid spot where Bernardo Silva is currently utilised in the past couple of games. But for the time being, we'll stick with Bernardo Silva. But knowing that Messi can do a job is very, very good indeed. Just got to sort their 11 out. I just had flashbacks to the first three seasons and playing against Dunay Simon. Not looking forward to this. And a cap at right back. Yeri Mina, Davinson Sanchez and Yuri Bashish at centre-back. So they've gone for the Colombian option at uh, centre-back. I'm sure Davinson Sanchez is also a Colombian. I might be mistaken there, but I think he is. Uh, they've got Nico Williams on the right. Nunes and Carlos Rodriguez in the middle with Velasco on the left. Andre Kramaric up top alongside Luca Waldschmidt. On the bench, a couple of options that are decent. Inigo Martinez is there. Inigo Cordoba as well. Maybe uh, Via Libre could be an option up top if they find that Kramerich or Valschmidt aren't doing that well. But it is a game that we should be winning. It's a game that I anticipate conceding a couple of goals in. But hopefully, again, we can continue to outscore our opposition and keep the points tally rolling on. Damage out on this right-hand side and a cap or two. Kramerich, he's gone for a shot. Ill-advised. He's going to go for a shot again, is he? No, he's taking his time this time. Rodriguez, Velasco. That's excellent footwork. Hard to deal with. Oh, it did open up for them, but Tostegan makes the save. That was dangerous. Bernardo Silva finds Nicolo Barela. Look at the run from Raheem. Please be on side, Raheem. Please be on side, Raheem. The angle is going to be tight. Oh, off the post. Off the post again. And finally across the line. I don't think I've scored quite a ridiculous goal for a little while. Erling buries it. But, wow, we do go 1-0 up. The first save I would have expected to be made. The second one is outrageous. The fact that he's gotten back across. Oh, no, actually, he hit the post, didn't it? It wasn't the keeper. The keeper didn't get a touch on the second one. And then he's flat on the floor when Orlan turns it home. Um, <laughs> one post hit twice, but the ball still goes in. Erling Haaland gives us a 1-0 advantage at home. Oh, he's given a pen. I was concentrating so hard on positioning my players and trying to make sure that I didn't leave them too much space for a shot. And when I eventually stepped in with De Ligt, I've definitely caught the man. It's 100% a penalty. Here goes that clean shit. Clean sheet. Andre Kramaric buries it in the bottom left-hand corner. Our clean shit is wiped out. 1-1. One, one. Correa. Down the line there. They're taking Nico Williams off and Cordoba's come on in his place, I think. Kessier in there to Sterling. They made changes at half-time. I thought about it because Haaland's actually getting a little bit tired, but we're going to keep him on for now. Kukurea coming forward in a bit of support. Kessier quickly to Sterling. Round the corner to Barella. And there's the second. Bit of patience, and it's worked wonders. We lead by two goals to one, and back in front here at the Camp Nou. Nicolo Barella grabbing another one. All of the goals he's scored for me so far have been pretty simple, although he did have to squeeze that away before the keeper got to him. Unai Simon was rushing out as fast as he possibly could, but it's great positioning by Barella. And 
very nearly got there, did the goalkeeper, but thankfully he did not. And lead we do. And it's back to him. What is Yeri Mina doing? I mean, thanks. I couldn't score it, unfortunately, but... Oh, it's gone to Sterling. He's not going to be winning any headers like that, is he? Neither's really. Bernardo Silva. Cordoba gets there, flattens the Portuguese. We have got it back in a decent position. Barela trying to find Bernardo Silva. I would have shot relatively quickly there. But unfortunately, couldn't squeeze it through. We've got our lead back. Now we just need to keep it this time, please, for longer than a few minutes. No penalties given away on this occasion, I hope. And a Kappa looking to get in behind. And Kukurea doing the defensive job very well indeed. And it's going to be a corner for Barcelona for Athletic Club de Bilbao. We make a couple of changes. Orlando's going to come off for Nunez. And I'm going to bring Garcia on for De Ligt, as you can see they are. The two obvious players that are tiring. And we have adequate quality in both positions to be able to make the change and still be able to be decent enough at both ends of the pitch. Win this, please, Frank. Well done. Kessier up nicely. Cordoba brings it down. And what are they going to do here? Kramerich. Well, there was a man free in the middle there for a moment. And still, Via Libre could look to find him. He did. And to Stegen thinks, I'm not taking any risks. I don't care if I take my own man out. I'm getting that ball. Get it, he did. Go on, Raheem. Oh, it's a lovely ball. Nicolo Barela, that's beautiful. Looking for Darwin Nunez. Terrible pass from me. Really poor. Kessie wins that header. Header? Header. Cordoba, I think, used an arm there. Indeed, he did. We have a free kick 26 yards out in a decent position. Can anyone currently on the pitch take a free kick? No. So, I'll lay it off. And Ferran Torres will thwack it. Nunez Simon makes a relatively comfortable save. Bit more power and maybe it would have had a bit more height. Oh, his keeper going to come for this. He is, but he can only punch. Barela will bring it down. Controls it nicely. Could have had another free kick there. Araujo. Masraoui. Go on then. The right back. Oh, I genuinely thought that was going to fly tops for a moment. It went well wide. Uh, can I get this to Darwin? We can get it through there. Then we'll look for Darwin. He might just have been offside. Darwin Nunez. He's onside. And that's the first shot I've had with him. He's taken it very well indeed. You imagine he'll have a proper face scan for next year now that he's gotten his move to Liverpool IRL. But for the time being, we're enjoying the not really looking like Darwin Nunez here at Barcelona. I told you I still had the quality at both ends when we made that change. Darwin Nunez grabs what is his first goal scored for me in a played game and think might be his first goal for the club all told. 3-1 Barcelona outscoring the opposition again. Getting better at that now, aren't we? Just need to stop the ball going back in at the other end. But one... Oh, I forced that. One conceded is better than the usual two conceded so far. So maybe we are making some improvements defensively. Sterling to Barela. Darwin's itching to make the run. And he's there again. Oh, so unlucky not to get another. Kramerich to Nunes. And across to Velasco. Oh, it's brilliant. We worked. Tostegan makes the save and we will get rid of it. Very nearly the customary second goal for my opposition. We're getting there one goal at a time. 3-1 this time, not 3-2 or 4-2 or 5-2. We've managed to nullify the threat of the opposition down to just four chances by kind of winning at the Metropolitano. Did they see that through? I don't think so, because Atleti... As you know, Atleti were top anyway. Not only did they see it... No, hang on. That's what Saucy did. Not only did they see it through, they scored a second. Go on, Viacano. Speaking of second, that's where we are. Or, ah, although I have just seen again that Hetafe and Valencia have games in hand. Valencia have drawn. Hetafe have lost, though. No, drawn. They were on 11, weren't they? Whatever. They're still behind me. That's all that matters. We're third. A point off top with Celta Vigo to play next. Five goals in six games for Erling Haaland so far. Second top goal scorer in the league. Joint second with four other uh, players. And it's Adam Armstrong at Hetafe that leads the way. Adam Armstrong at Hetafe. You certainly didn't see that coming, did you? Celta have Andre Kolar in goal, Devin Wrench at right back, with Daniel Vivian, Joseph Aidu, and Javi Gallan as their back four. Yakushlu in the holding role, 
And then El Ghazi, Fofana and Dil Rosen in a very flat looking midfield with Nino and Hugo Duro up top for them. Land here. And we'll go to Ferran around the corner. I see Barela in the middle. He's made a great run. It was Bernardo Silva probably, wasn't it? Yeah, because Barela's here. No, he's not. He's there. Niclo! Oh, nearly another simple one-on-one -on -one finish for him, but he's not quite done it. Bernardo Silva. Work it around again. Erling! We'll work it around again. Please. Niccolo. Oh, nearly a great ball through for Ferran Torres. No first goal yet, although both sides are having attempts at either end of the field. We have scored 16 goals in six games. We're averaging nearly three a game. I mean, we've needed to average nearly three a game to make sure we get the results. But it's when those goals dry up that we stand a bit of a problem. Tistegan helping us keep a clean sheet for now, though. Ferran Torres opened up a little bit. A little dink. Oh, trying to get it in behind too early. Oh, Bernardo's intercepted that and actually played a lovely through ball for Celta Vigo. And Kessier intercepts her attempt to get it forward again. Barela to Sterling. Looking for Erling. First touch takes him away from the defender. And Erling Haaland doesn't miss chances when they're gifted to him like that. 1-0 Barcelona after half an hour. He's at peace. Hopefully we can be soon too. Kessier driven out wide to Masraoui. In there to Barela. That was meant for Kessier, but thankfully it finds the target. Raho to Ferran. And Holland. Is there a foul in there? No. He's furious early. He's waving his arms around as he's lying there on the floor. Quickly back to his feet and back involved now. Maintaining the shape of the team. Devin Wrench down the right. Getting a long way forward from right back. Tries an early-ish cross. You've got to be better than that, Celta Vigo. That's, that's just not going to threaten Marc-Andre de Stegen whatsoever. Now, to be fair, I should try and utilise Holland's height a bit more than I already have. Oh, my God. What a touch. What an unbelievable goal. Root, bloody one. Or Root Uno, I should say. I don't know what Root is in Spanish. Apologies. Root Uno. Sterling's header was disgusting. It was disgusting in the negative sense rather than the positive sense. His nodded touch in front of him went so far away from him, I thought actually the keeper was going to come and get it. And the finish, to be fair, nearly missed as well. Sterling scores what looks like an impressive goal that very nearly was ruined on two occasions. But that's why, literally as I was saying it, we should try and utilise Erling Haaland's height a bit more. Flicked on one header and in the process of making the decision to change it or utilise it, it leads to a goal directly. I mean, that's how you like things to be done. Corner for Dil Rosun to come in from the far side. Can Celta Vigo get one back before half-time? Kessier ensures the answer to that is a swift no. Post and out. 1-1. That might be the Real Madrid game then. It is the Real Madrid game. Didn't hear which side it was actually that had the penalty. But Real Madrid either potentially going 2-1 up or potentially going 2-1 down. Regardless, are still dropping points 1-1 against Hatafe in what is a Madrid derby of some description. Celta Vigo looking to get themselves on the score sheet here as they try and get one over on us. But so far, we've dealt with everything they've thrown at us and I'm trusting my keeper to come and get that, even though I had a player in front of it ready to clear. I'll pump this long. There's some space here out on this right-hand side here for Raheem Sterling, who's found it brilliantly. We'll look for Barela. We'll find Haaland. And I've ballsed it up. I should perhaps have gone for the shot there. Celta Vigo leaving themselves so vulnerable at times. And the ball opened there for Bernardo Silva. I wasn't sure whether he was on or not. So I just let fly. Turns out he was onside. So it was worthy of having the crack. It would fall to Bernardo Silva here. Now, Raujo scored an absolute stunner in the last episode. He's not going to do the same here. And Erling's trying his best to grab another. But Celta Vigo stand firm. Javi Galan. Duro nicely intercepted by Masraoui. It's well done. Varela calling for it. Nunez making the run, but I'm not going to try and squeeze it through a gap that might get closed. Kessier's here with me. Holds the man off well. Out there to Ferran Torres and Nunez. Looking for Ferran again. It's a good ball. 
He will keep it in play, but I'll have to look back to try and find a space to deliver it into the middle. And, well, Gavi thought about going for an overhead kick there. Kessier can't get to that. And with seven minutes to go, we look like we're going to get the win. The question now is, will we get that elusive La Liga clean sheet? I always tend to ask that question about clean sheets when the opposition are in attack. So far, we're doing all right, and it looks like we will get it. So, good. We made the step forward to get just one goal conceded in the last game, and now it looks like we're destined to not concede any here. Sterling has just drifted offside, but Gavi with excellent footwork. And the finish, Gavi, Barcelona 3, Celta Vigo 0. There is to be another goal in this game, but it's not for the home side. Off the bench and having an impact. Well done, young man. There's the final whistle. Gavi's late goal was his first in two substitute appearances for us so far this season. They could have got themselves off to a decent start if Del Rosen had buried that early doors, but he didn't. Oh, Real Madrid did get victory in the end against Getafe, unfortunately, so... Do we go top? I didn't. It was Barcelona, wasn't it, that was next? Not Barcelona. I'm Barcelona. It was Valencia that were top. Youth squad monthly report. We're not really paying any attention to the youth whatsoever this season. Spartak Moscow. Can I. I can probably feel com relatively confident to see me with that rotation 11, actually. So let's do that. Go on. Do the job, lads. <laughs> They've done a bad job. Spartak Moscow beat us by two goals to one. Note to self, can't necessarily trust that rotation 11 in games. It's Huesca next, so we should certainly win that one, he says. Jinxing, jinxing himself. Let's go and sim Huesca. Get the three points with the full strength 11. We are top. We are top. Up the Barcelona. Right. This, surely. When I'm simming with this first string 11, unless I'm playing someone that is genuinely of proper quality we should be battering everyone it didn't happen that way with cambridge when our side was even better than this one but so far it is happening here and barela has now peaked at 91 but that's absolutely fine oh let me just check to stegen not to stegen uh erling's development plan yeah he's peaked i am I've got him on complete striker. His stamina is being trained there, but even though he's going to complete that in 13 weeks, it's not actually going to change the ratings. Kind of defeats the object of having a development plan, doesn't it? But whatever. Join me in the third and final game, which actually is going to be pretty damned important. It's first versus second, Barca versus Valencia at the Mestalla. Valencia going pretty old school with a 4-4-2, although it does look more like a four trip or two with the wingers pushed as far forward as they are. They have Altai by Endier in goal. Uh, Junior Sambi... Junior... Ju <laughs> Start that again, shall I? Junior Sambia at right back. Gabriel Paulista and Fran Garcia as the remainder of the back four. The midfield is Diego Lanius on the right hand side with Marcus Turam actually on the left. And then Gerson Santos de Silva and Carlos Soler in the middle. And up top, Gaetan Laborde and Briel Donald Mbolo. Some options on the bench, some better than others. You see Melamed and uh, Jorge Sanchez. Jasper Selesen as a, as a backup goalkeeper. They've got two goalkeepers about the same rating, which is always a weird one to try and manage, to try and keep one happy, or to, to keep them both happy with the amount of football they're getting. But regardless, uh, we've been able to keep our goalkeepers happy because... One of them is 94 rated and the rest are in the 60s. So pretty straightforward for Marc Andre de Stecken to play every game. Not that he's been keeping many clean sheets, but after one in the last game, I would perhaps like to back out with another. And if we can get to that first, oh, then we will extend our lead at the top of the table. Everybody's missed that and a third man had to come across and get it. But this is first versus second. This is a game that could dictate the way that the title race pans out in the early stages. As we head towards Christmas and then the January transfer window. Here's Carlos Soler, Gerson, Soler, dinked out wide nicely to Marcus Turam and Fran Garcia inside. Carlos Soler, Gerson again, nice interception. We'll try and break away. Ferran has Sterling itching to get played in behind. We will scratch that itch and then if I can dig the cross out. 
There's Erling at the back post. That was beautiful football. He's at peace again, and we're 1-0 up again. Vamos! Mbolo. Over the top to Fran Garcia. It's given away. It's poor from Valencia. They are going to need to be better. Oh, he's in again. The big man. I love the way he runs in game. It's just so reminiscent of his running style IRL. Torres with the delivery. Kessier's up really well, but wide. Here's Diego Lainez. In there to Laborde. Gerson into the middle with the header. And then the subsequent passes. And we'll look to build away again. That was wild. Valencia not been as good as a side that are where they are in the league. Bernardo's going to get on the end of that. It was Barela even. And the keeper has to do better. Nicolo Barela with another relatively simple finish for him. Great run. The defender initially probably should have done better because the weight of the pass wasn't quite good enough. Gabriel should do better with that. And absolutely, the keeper has to do much better with it. It's right next to him. It's not good enough. It's not good enough from Valencia. They will fall further away from top spot. And based on that evidence, they don't deserve to be there anyway. Nice interception by Fran. I say interception. He's just, quite frankly, outmuscled the man off the ball. Bernardo Silva. Kessier is off. So much for not attacking while... Uh, stay back whilst attacking. Just disappeared. Intercepted well by Kukurea. Flick that round the corner. Erling's in again. On his left. Altai makes the save this time. Keeping his side in it. There's still a chance for Valencia. Delicht's header comfortable for the keeper as well. It was too close to the goalkeeper. You are correct, Derek Ray. But they've had one shot on target all game. That was an inaccurate pass as I was too busy looking at the graphic to give you a piece of commentary. And Diego Lainez could punish me for that out on this right-hand side. But they've not really done much that scared me all game, Valencia. Now they'll score. And uh, the game is in question again. No second clean sheet. Hopefully, still the victory, but a good finish by Mbolo there. Good movement as well to back away from the defender. Keeper came for some reason and then stopped and went back again, which opened up the angle for Mbolo to, well, do exactly that. To lift. Kessier, we use the left back. Aaron Torres tucked very central here. You see Bernardo Silva making a good run. So the ball was intended for, but never mind. Uh, Kessier, Varela to Sterling. Slightly delayed in reaching him or lift it. And Ferran Torres is there with the header, who's under a lot of pressure. And the little nudge in the back means that he won't be able to keep it down. He's not been anywhere near as free scoring this season, Ferran Torres, as I remember him being when we were at Barcelona earlier in the year. Of course, we started the RTG with Cambridge back in February. And I, re I recall Ferran Torres being absolutely ruthless in front of goal in my third season. And I don't feel like he has been so far in my return here to the Camp Nou. He says, as we're playing at the Mestalla. Araujo with a nice interception there. We are going to have to be defensively aware and ensure that they don't cut us open and grab that second goal. Barela, Sterling's gone. He might have been just off. He was. I'm going to make changes then because we've got a game in the cup in the Champions League coming up against Frankfurt next that I am going to need to get a result from. Bernardo Silva for uh, his highness, Lord Messi. Gets a plus seven now. Messi seemingly improving a little bit as we continue to go through this save. Uh, go on then, Gavi for Barela. It's a change that's given us a goal previously. Let's see if it can do again. Guarantee the dub. Messi gets the advantage there, and rightly so. It's a disgusting challenge. Ferran Torres dropping a shoulder, trying to dummy the ball a little bit, or dummy the defence at least. All in. I'll go to Messi first. He'll drive around the corner. We'll tuck it back looking for Erling. He'll then look for Gavi over here, who spun nicely. Look for Sterling. First time shot. Should have played the extra pass to Erling, shouldn't I? Who was just arriving at pace in the right space.
to turn that home first time given the opportunity with seconds to go please be offside doesn't matter keepers made the uh, made the recovery he's going to loiter behind me but i'm just going to waste the time and we will get the win against valencia less comfortable in the second half than i might have liked it to be but still overall didn't feel like we were ever under too much threat to lose that Valencia only two efforts in the whole game to our nine, and certainly it felt like that sort of game. They were second. They won't be any more. We are third in our group, and the two sides I thought would boss it are third and fourth. Milan lose to me and only draw with Frankfurt. So we now play the German side twice in a row, and to be fair, I'm probably going to have to play them twice in a row as well. So we'll play Frankfurt. We'll play Hatafe and then depending on how that first game against Frankfurt goes we will either play Frankfurt again or Abar and then sim the Frankfurt game because rather evidently the episode after that is going to be Real Madrid, Atletico Madrid and AC Milan. That will do us for today. I'll quickly show you the league table because that win will certainly have kept us top and by how much are we top now? The answer is two points and then a further two points to Valencia and Real Madrid. We've won seven of our nine so far. We don't have the best defensive record in the league, but that's not a surprise. We do have the best goal scoring uh, record in the league. And that too, not that much of a surprise to this point. So pleased with how things are going so far domestically. Certainly could be better in Europe, but hopefully after a couple of games against Frankfurt in tomorrow's episode, they will be better in Europe. So happy enough so far, content with the way that this fourth and final season at Barcelona is going. And hopefully we will be on course for two more trophies to make it three for the season total. The Copa del Rey and... No, yeah, three more trophies to make it four total. The Copa del Rey, La Liga and the Champions League. Hopefully I've not jinxed myself there to not winning one of them now. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you tomorrow.